state of affairs, and we touched on it. I'm going to go a little deeper in the time we have left. We had the president of the state senate, uh, Steve Sweeney, talking about his plan to gain, as he believes, more fiscal responsibility in the state. And he did bring up, and you know this, going back and revisiting the question of public employee pensions, health benefits. You say? We've come to the table. We've had extensive conversations with the administration and developed um, a host of cost-saving uh, uh, solutions that are right now being implemented. So um, not to get into the weeds on this, but a new uh, plan for uh, uh, education, education retirees that will save the state $180 million a year. Um, we went to the table uh, a few years ago with the senator's help because we needed legislation for this to change the manner in which the state bids its prescription program. That resulted in a $1.5 billion savings over three years, and we're about to go back and rebid it to try and, and uh, reap even more cost savings, probably in the neighborhood of 100 to 150 million a year. There, there are things that can be done to improve the way insurance is procured and delivered and the way health care is, is delivered to uh, reap huge savings without automatically diminishing uh, the level of benefits that people pay. The other issue that we have is as a result of a law passed in 2011, we have members all over this state, educators, who are taking home less net pay from one year to the next. And the reason for that is the law required certain levels of health care premium sharing and um, they are now exceeding any raises that people are getting. So, you know, you get a small raise over here, but your health care premium goes up by this much. We've got to end that. We cannot continue to have negative net pay year over year over year. Um, one legislator we spoke with about this said um, uh, going and doing the same or better work each year for less pay is crazy. I don't want crazy people teaching our children. And so um, we have to fix that. Ed Richardson is the executive director of the New Jersey.